Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing my first Q&A video. I'm super excited about this. You guys requested it and I also wanted to do this video so you guys can get to know me better. So thank you to everyone who sent me questions on Snapchat and in the comment section on YouTube. I'm sorry if I don't get to all of them today, but I'm going to do my best to get through as many as possible. Let's get on with the questions. Daydreamer asks, what do you want to pursue for a career? So that's sort of like a loaded question for me. I don't necessarily plan on following like a career path. I am in school right now. My major is marketing with a minor in public speaking, but that still could change. I don't want to limit myself to any specific title. I'm not in school to be a doctor or a teacher. Really, I plan on being self-employed my whole life. I don't plan on getting a job when I get out of college. And I don't just plan on owning my own business, but I want to make money multiple different ways creatively. I don't know if that answers your question, but that's the best answer I have for you on that. It's really just where life takes me. I want to take up every opportunity I can and just be happy. <laughs> Josh asks, when's our date? <laughs> He's probably kidding. But to answer that, I am not dating right now. I consider myself emotionally unavailable. I really am just trying to be single and follow my dreams, I guess, not to be cheesy. Do the things that I came to college to do, which is good, good grades, volunteer, grow my business, experiment with things like YouTube, have fun, go out with friends, and just enjoy being young. I haven't been single since I was 16. In other words, a relationship is at the bottom of my priority list. But I would go on dates for fun. Like, why not? Like, you seem so cool. I love all your comments on my videos. So hit me up if you're in the Bay Area or Northern California. This one's from Emily. Do you miss your Wisconsin friends? Yes, I do. I think about you guys a lot, actually. I really want to come back and visit. Coldwater Creek, though. That was where it was at. We had the playground. I love Wisconsin. I remember when I moved away, I was so sad. Like, I wanted to move back. And it means so much to me that you guys watch my videos, so that's really cool. I got a question from Carlos. He says, did you go back to Cali so you wouldn't have to be so close to Scott all the time? I hope you're being sarcastic. Scott is my little brother. No, I didn't. I actually really miss him and my family, but I'm gonna be in Ohio the whole summer, so that'll be cool. Hopefully I'll get to spend some more time with him, even though he's always out with his friends and his girlfriend. So even when I was there for Christmas, I barely saw him. I train UFC boxing and ping pong. Asked me a list of like 20 questions. I'm gonna try to run through some of these. Why is Poke Flirt friend zone? I wouldn't necessarily say that he's friend zoned. We've just always been really good YouTube friends and really good friends in real life. He's, like I said, he's the one who inspired me to start doing YouTube. He's never tried to become anything more than friends. I just feel like we really vibe. We're both Scorpios and he's just super chill. He's the most awesome dude. And I don't think anyone's necessarily friend zoned unless they get like rejected, but I think it's like a mutual thing. Like we're just friends. Are you going to college? Yes, I go to Shasta College in Reading. It's actually a community college. A lot of people don't know that because when you get here, it's really big and they have dorms. It's a pretty complicated story about how I ended up here. Moving my senior year, I didn't even apply to any four years. And my mom found this school and it's just, I ended up here and I'm so happy I did because I love it here and I can transfer anywhere I want. I haven't decided yet. I'm really close to Chico and I have some friends there so I might end up there. Or I can end up in SoCal, I can end up in a different state. Honestly, who knows? Android or iPhone? Team iPhone, even though I have like the 5S. Hopping on the Team iPhone 6 Plus train real soon. How long is Yo Tongue? You tell me, I don't know, is that long? I'm sticking out as far as I can. What's Yo background? This is my background on the front. It's my friend Sarah. And my friend Allie and I were getting ice cream. And then my background inside is my friend Corey, Alexa, April, and I when we were in the hot tub. So that's my background. What is your favorite sport to play? I played water polo in high school. I was also a cheerleader, but I know a lot of you guys are going to say, that's not a real sport. So I guess I'll have to go with water polo because it's the only real sport I've ever played. Besides when I was younger, my mom signed me up for t-ball and soccer and stuff, but I was like five. How old are you? How tall are you? And how much do you weigh? I am five, seven and a half. Probably like 120 pounds and I am 19 turning 20 in November. This one is from Mia who is Poke Flirt's little sister. She asked, what was it like going to Heritage? 
it was interesting. I guess that's the best way I know how to describe it. In my experience, I didn't realize how much I appreciated it till I left. Because it was an awesome school and I did have a lot of good times there. Some of my best friends have come out of going to Heritage who I really feel like I'll be friends with forever. Daydreamer asked, what do you look for in a guy? What do you find most attractive in a guy? What do you find the least attractive in a guy? I wouldn't necessarily say that I look for anything in a guy. Usually I'm just attracted to who I'm attracted to and I do tend to have sort of like a type. I've been told that before and only now am I kind of realizing it when I look back on my dating history. They all have very similar physical and like mental, I guess, characteristics. And the ones that like we broke up for certain reasons, it all adds up into like what I guess I look for in a guy. It doesn't really matter what you look like if we have a real connection. I know a lot of girls say that, but I might be one of the only ones that actually means it cute smile, someone who's independent. They don't have to have the same interests as me. I like someone who's decisive. They know what they're into. They know what they're not into. They know what they like. They know what they don't like. I definitely tend to fall for the guys who are like funny and cute and witty and charming, but they're not overdoing it. They're not trying too hard. They're not cocky. Least attractive, those guys who are just sort of like floating. Like they don't know what they want. They don't know what they're doing with their life. They're just kind of chilling. Alyssa Baker asked, what was the biggest change between moving from California to Ohio? Do you think you would ever want to live in Ohio again? The biggest personal change would definitely have to be like knowing everyone and everyone knowing me to not knowing anybody at all. I was at my senior prom in Ohio. We were watching like the class video where it has everyone's senior picture go on the screen and they're playing music and everyone's getting all emotional. And I just started crying, not because I was getting emotional about my senior class, but it was because I didn't recognize anybody. I'm just sitting there like, I'm graduating with a bunch of strangers. So that was really hard for me. It actually ended up turning into something really positive. I don't regret moving at all. I think it was supposed to happen. I'm still in close contact with my friends at both schools. So everything happens for a reason. It all worked out. Would I ever move back to Ohio again? Yes, I would. I feel like as long as my family lives there, I'll always have a home there. And I actually lived in Ohio twice. I lived in Toledo, Ohio when I was like seven, and then I lived in Cincinnati last year. So it's not a bad place. I enjoyed it. Thank you for helping me do my first Q&A video. And I'm just so excited to start my YouTube channel and to get you guys all involved. And really, everyone's been showing me so much support, and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave more comments below because over time, if you guys just leave comments, I'll just throw some more Q&A videos out there. Bye.